Today Best Selling Authors. More on that in just a minute. I'm Bryn Donovan. I am a fiction writer and a fiction editor at a publishing house. And go ahead and subscribe for weekly videos that will help you either write your first ready to publish novel or your best novel yet. Thanks for being here. I hope everything's going okay with you. If you are doing the program and you're doing a step a week, you are two weeks away from getting to the midpoint of your novel. If you're going a little faster, a little slower, that's great too. Today I wanted to talk about something that can hold us up a lot as writers, and that is doubt. Doubt that it's all going to be worth it. It's a lot of work to write a book, and we start wondering, is it all going to pan out? And that can really hamper our efforts because our writing competes with so many other activities and concerns and it's hard to prioritize something if you're not sure it's going to be worth it. But what if you knew your book was going to be published and you knew a lot of people were going to read it? That would change your whole mindset. And so my suggestion for you is a writing hack where you pretend that you are a best-selling author and people are just waiting for your next book. Or at the very least, you are an author with a contract and a deadline from a publisher to deliver your first draft. Indulge me for just a couple of minutes because I'm going to talk about my own writing, but it absolutely pertains to this and it's actually how I came up with this idea. All right, and this is about me writing Sunrise Cabin for Hallmark Publishing. Now, Sunrise Cabin is my fourth novel. So the first two, I wrote the whole thing first and then I got small publishing contracts for them. The third one I self-published while I was helping start up Hallmark Publishing. And then I wrote Sunrise Cabin and the way this came about was for Hallmark Publishing, sometimes I write storylines or treatments and then I give them to an author to write the book. And in this case, after I finished the treatment, I loved the characters so much that I wasn't able to hand it off. And so I decided to write it myself. Now, for the first time, I had a hard deadline. And I also had, for the first time, a fair amount of attention on a writing project. This was our first original novel as a publishing house and I was heading up editorial. So it was really important that this book didn't suck, right? Um, and it was also a time where we were very much in startup mode with Hallmark Publishing. We still are to some extent uh, because things have been moving so quickly, but then I was working 60 hours and up a week. Nonetheless, I was able to write Sunrise Cabin in about four or five months. I wrote it completely between midnight and 4 a.m. actually. Having that hard deadline and having that attention on my project gave me determination and drive as a writer that I had never had before. And that's why I'm recommending this idea of pretending you're a best-selling author. So just take a couple of minutes to imagine that your book is already on pre-order, right? Like eight months in advance. People are on Goodreads talking about it with each other and saying, I cannot wait for this next book. It is too far away, the release date. Your agent is calling you just to check in and see how the draft is going. And she's saying, oh, you've been invited on this celebrity podcast. Does that work with your schedule? You've got the book cover from the publisher and it looks great. When you're in this mindset, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna hit your deadline you're gonna be confident in your writing ability and you're gonna really try hard to make that a great book because there's so much attention on it. So that's why I recommend this imaginary thing that you can do. How do you get into that best-selling author mindset or get that best-seller energy? There are a few ways. At the beginning of this program, I suggested as an option that you could create a fake book cover for your book to help give you focus. And if you didn't do that yet, you might still want to try it out. You can make business cards for yourself that say New York Times bestselling author under your name. Now you don't actually have to print them up. You could just design one and save that image on your computer. But you could print them up if you wanted to, if it made it more real for you. Don't distribute them. I mean, don't lie to people. <laughs> um, but uh, just as a way to get you in that mind frame, that's a great idea. Uh, this is going to sound ridiculous, but it will have an impact. 
write this sentence out in handwriting 15 times, it feels amazing to be a best-selling author. Just try it, it'll change something in your head. Um, so those are some ways to get into that best-selling mindset and do your best work, get out of your own way. I hope that helps. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and um, share it on Twitter or Facebook if you wanna share that positivity. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, go ahead and share those below. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Have a great week and happy writing.